Hey guys, I'm Adventure Andy. I'm playing. Whatever. Uh, well, I'm gonna just gonna wait for the title to come up here. It's Nickelodeon. That's obviously the uh, little logo there. The guy from Space Invaders. Underwater Antics. I believe this is a THQ game. I know there's an a I know there's like a title right above the video, but I just wanna save the suspense for then, or for when the title comes up in the game. Gay with I don't know what that is. Uh, it's SpongeBob. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom for the PC. This game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. So uh, let's just watch the intro here. SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh, uh, by the way, the answer to all these questions is uh, SpongeBob SquarePants. So uh, in case you were worried about you know the test or whatever. It's all the answers I'm giving you right there. Okay, now you're just being ridiculous. Oh, you see they call him Square Pants because he has square pants. And he placed a flute on his nose, which is absolutely adorable. And the series is created by Steven Hollenberg. We got our opening cutscene here. The title of the game, yes! Seems like a perfect idea. This is a half-blind playthrough. I've played through half of the game. Ooh. Master has an extra ring to it, doesn't it? Oh, graphical glitches. That's the problem. I, um... I don't know if it's my disc, but the game, sometimes I get whiteness. That's normally just the cutscenes. Cell shading. Yeah, that's right. This is cell shading. For those of you who don't know what cell shading is, it's a type of graphics where the things are drawn in 2D but meant to look 3D. A uh, good example of cell shading is, of course, Jack Ryan Radio, which is a playthrough on my Game Anyone page, which you should check out. So, yeah, it's cool. Oh, how inconvenient. If only I hit that one switch that I just decided to make to screw everything up. It's like in case he wanted, in case he wanted to screw up. Maybe he was testing himself. Gary's food ball's the wrong color, by the way. What is that? Oh my god. Oh, so that's what they wish on a bikini bottom. Anyway, the GameCube version of this game is a lot different. It's a, uh, it's a lot more fun, in my opinion. This is another one of those little mini games, SpongeBob games. And uh, this also um, another version of this game comes in a double pack with SpongeBob Operation Krabby Patty, which is another playthrough I'll be doing. I already have it on my channel, and it's disgusting, my quality. I didn't skip that, by the way. I don't know what just happened. Anyway, um, I just got to switch my user here. See, that's SpongeBob. Let's be, let's be Gary. Be so nonchalant. And we can go wherever we want. Let's start out at the Chum Bucket, or Mermelair. And I want Chum Bucket. I have just been handed a statement from a Mr. Plankton. Entrepreneur and proprietor of the Chum Bucket. Yeah, who uh, sucks at, you know, sell things. This part's funny. Oh my god. This game kind of tried to be a lot more adult than an average SpongeBob game. And I mean, we'll, we'll even get into it more when we, he make, they make a penis joke. I'm not kidding. A very subtle penis joke. And like, it's not like I'm just saying that to be mature. They, it's a penis joke. I'm not kidding. Robots. Disgusting. See you later there, Mr. Robot. But, uh, we underestimate your AI. Which isn't the wrong thing to do. Unlock the rooms. Avoid the robots by hiding in the different rooms. Collect all 
all of the machine parts to continue to the next game. That robot looks very, uh, stalkerish. Or not stalkerish, but rather, uh, like he wants to do something to us. And this minigame is kind of annoying. I mean, it, it's kind of hard to move SpongeBob because you move your mouse somewhere, he'll always catch up to it. And then when you want to keep moving, he'll just stop. Like, you see what I mean? I want to go over here, right? But he just catches up to the uh, mouse as the screen moves forward. Anyway, we have to find the keys. Don't worry about the robots. They are so easy to avoid. It's a nice game to play with the family. Oh my god, I'm cornered. Oh, I am such a sly dog. I don't think this game ever changes. Let's see. Is the key in the same place? Where was it last time I played it? I can't remember. Oh, there it is, right in the open. And then we go in here, and it's just a room to guard you from the robots. Unless you're, you know, if you're too stupid to be able to walk around him. Which is understandable. This game is meant for kids, after all. Not to imply that kids are stupid or anything, but, you know, I mean. Also, we slip on the wall. He'll catch us. Watch. Because we, we date. Oh, what? He'll, like, he'll get up and be dazed for moments. He'll even, like, be, whoa, that was crazy. And, like, just stand there. That's the red key. We want that. Find the green key. The green key. Where is the green key? I think it's over this way. Let's get the configuration. We, we need to get the gear. I say configuration because that's the little sign of uh, the configuration on Windows, of course, you know. But who am I to make such trivial mistakes? Uh, let's see, where is that Where is that green key? It should be in here somewhere. There we go. Green key. Now, we'll go around and get all the parts. Essential what the parts do are allow us to build something later. Bonus points. Yay, we need those. Totally, they make, they totally they make a difference in how you play the game. Okay, so right here, this is a t seesaw. I was going to say teeter totter. Oh, I don't know. I do, never knew anyone who called that uh, teeter totter seesaws. I guess because I see you. I saw you. <laughs> it's so silly. Uh oh. What a super speed. Good. It's about time. Well, that ended fast. Oh, there we go. Cool. What's up, rat? Let's snag this right here. I was going to say crab, but snack seems more fancy. So we have three of the, the five parts. There, uh, no, there's no part near where to bend. That's a oh, weight. We need that for later. Gee, the, the little, uh, thingies don't last as long as I remember them lasting. Oh my god, no. I, I, like, took my hand off the mouse for a second and it almost got me. Anyway, yeah, the occasional white flashes, they aren't that big a deal. If I can handle them, I'm playing the game, I'm sure you can handle them. I apologize, I really, I can't help it. It's graphical glitches and, you know, they suck. Let's see, no. Don't run into the garbage cans. We got all five parts, so I believe the blue key is up in the left corner. That is where it was last time, if I recall correctly. Come on, stop doing what you're doing. Okay, it's in this maze. Let's just get this quickly. It'll speed us up, I think. No, one up. Ah, uh, that's not really necessary. I don't know if the I forget if the one ups carry on to the next level. Oh no, never mind. Freeze. That freezes the robots temporarily, uh, paralyzing them. Come on, where is it? There we go, the blue key, as soon as I ask for it. And let's use the snail right here, that should slow him down again, I think. Oh no, I'm invincible, that's cool, I can walk over the oil now, and run right through the robots. I won't kill him, but I'll walk right through him. So I guess that's kind of nice to have. But at the same time, it's really pretty pointless, because I'm in the game so easy. Anyway, the exit's this way, now that we've got, oh, come on. You just had to pull that on me, didn't you? Okay, let's go around here, we'll be safe from robots in the dark rooms. Uh oh! Oh crap! I got hit. That'll actually act as a shortcut, though. Plus, we got a life, so who cares? Is that no? That's not the exit. That's the exit right there. It's waiting for us. Anyway, I think that's all the time we have. So for now, I've been Adventure Andy, and I'll see you next time with more SpongeBob SquarePants Operation Krabby Pad. I mean, no, not Operation Krabby Pad. Hold on, can I? No, I'll wait for this cutscene end. Oh, snap! She brought it on. Let's go find Sandy. And this brings up this most retarded minigame I've ever played in the game. It's it's so stupid. I mean, it's hard to figure out, but it's also really stupid. Anyway, uh, yeah, if you listen to him for a second, I'll explain it next time. So, uh, like I said, for now, I'm going to make sure playing SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, and I'll see you guys later.